Jumping on to the next and the last episode we have here is the fifth episode, which is the photo gallery. So if you're new and you've not watched the previous episode, guys, please go and check it out and learn new things. And I believe you're going to learn new things. All right. So before we start this episode, please, guys, give this video a thumbs up already. And guys, subscribe to this channel if you're new. Please share this video. And invite your friends to this channel. Let's make this channel get to 10,000 subscribers. So moving on, guys. The next thing we're gonna do, guys, is as you can see, we have this page. We've done already. We have all these pages, and what we're gonna do is import our images. All right. So let's have a blank page here. All right. Let's import the image for the photo gallery. And um, locate where your files are safe and select all and um, basically import and paste them over here so what I'm gonna do guys now is I'm gonna like power clip this inside I want this picture to be like a full page picture like you're gonna have like take over the whole of this page all right so this is what we're going to have Basically, we're going to leave this this way, but first of all, import this, um, let's, let's import this image into this frame here. So let's just power clip it inside this way. Now right click and edit power clip. Now use shift page down to take it behind the image and scale this up this way. Now use your transparency tool, go to your blend mode, choose overlay. Aha! Uh -huh. Now reduce the opacity to 60 or so. Yeah, 60. All right. So what I want to just create is like um like a distraction in the background, like you know something going on in the background, not just leaving it plain. So this is what you're going to have. Now give it this gold color. Aha! Uh -huh. So guys, as you can see, when you print this page, man, you will feel it. <laughs> You will feel it like you will see what I'm talking about. All right, so guys, basically, for now, this is what you're going to have. Now, if you remember, we have this, this which we created. All right, so let's just paste it over here and leave it to the top and scale it a little bit smaller and leave it there. All right, so this is what you're going to have now. Let's bring in our rectangle to moving into the next page and um you know let's just leave it that and what we're going to do now is bring in this background i just downloaded all this random background in photoshop it's not that you guys asked me how i get my backgrounds guys sometimes it depends on how i if i'm working the background just like it just comes to my head let's just try this let's just try this you understand so basically that's how i did all this and now i clip this inside this frame all right so we're going to apply a blur effect to this go to your effects blur gaussian blur and um all right so just apply this this way and we're going to scale this up this way all right let's scale this up and leave it to this for now scale this up this way all right so this is what you're going to have basically for now so now remove the outline and once you do that you remember this picture all right so copy it and um, bring it to this point and um, all you need to do is just kill this and place it over here just small that way and leave it to that now what you're going to do is bring in this and place it over here all right now type gallery all right and give it vanguard as a font so once you do that give it this color 
place it over here and apply a shadow to it let's give it a shadow and once you do that this is what you're going to have guys now the next thing we're going to do is bring in another rectangle and draw over here and give it a yellow color all right so this is what you're going to have guys basically for now this is what you're going to have so i'm going to like give it this color sorry uh-huh so what we're going to do is use our rectangle tool and draw a frame here like a big frame all right so once you do that bring this down a bit and place this image right in here power clip it and scale this up this way all right just scale it up and place this down here now remove the outline bring another frame and place over here this way all right photo gallery you can actually design it the way you want anyhow you want it to feel like all right so place this and scale this up this way all right just so as you can see guys this image i've actually removed the background so if you want to know how to remove background in photoshop or color draw go and check out my previous videos all right so basically you guys asked for this video so i threw a poll so you guys chose this video so that's what i'm kind of trying to explain to you guys in this video so let's place this in here and place this in here so make sure it's aligned to the frame and nobody's cutting out and all right so scale this one up to and boom remove the outline and basically guys this is what you're going to have this is how we design this photo gallery so you can continue continuously the pages you know you understand so different design different style for each page as you can see so if you love this video share it give it a thumbs up don't forget subscribe to my channel guys a lot of goodies and a lot of stuff is coming your way a lot of content guys don't forget to subscribe so this is our last episode for this tutorial and see you guys in my next video if you have any question drop the comments in the comment section below peace out